Hello, I'm Farno of Farno Games, and I'm here with the 60-second part in my Skyrim walkthrough. When we left off, we have to go and, um, inform... What's... kind of hairstyle? Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? Anyway, uh, we have to f talk to Ulfric Stormcloak, and... Um, General Tullius, and let them know that um, there's gonna be try to be a truce, so we can then stop the war temporarily, capture a dragon, and then also um, so we can figure out where Alduin's location is. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these brave don't help in the war. Yeah, there's racism in Skyrim. It's kind of sad. It's a lot like your um, in real life too. Gray skins. Yeah. It's no secret that the Aretino boy is doing some big trying to call the dark. All right, Palace of the Kings. Yeah, I decided to s talk to. Ulfric Stormcloak first, and we're in Mark, uh, not Markarth. Not in Markarth. We're in. Markarth won't give us a. We're in, um. Windhail. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Yarl without some. Okay. Do I know you? You do. I believe we've already met. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Yes, I was. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and so were you. A fair point. Well, I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. Seems we're all prepped. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. You fight for me. That's not and no. what would you have? No, 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 no. That's not what I want. No. If he speak with no. I have a message from the graveyards. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menaces. I have the greatest respect for the graveyards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Yarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Okay, politics. And damned, Alwyn has returned. Alduin, the world eater of songs. Yes, and it, it worked. If that's true. Well, it changes the situation, <laughs> doesn't it? Yes, it does. Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Jill, come. Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Okay. He knows that. They all know that. Alright. How long are you going to wait? Alright, so we got, um, Jarl Ulfric to agree. And we have to get General Tol Tullius to agree. I've already been in Solitude, so let's go to Solitude. Aren't you ugly? You are very ugly. You ugly, ugly woman. Anyway, um, some of you may have been wondering what that MOBA Freak trailer is that I uploaded a little while ago. Um, that was a trailer to, well, let's just say, this channel is going to be coming to an end when it comes to, um, me uploading stuff to it. Um, I moved my Lord of the Rings walkthrough over to Lotro Gaming's channel, and my Skyrim walkthrough is coming really close to an end. Maybe five to ten parts left, and then the Skyrim walkthrough will be done. And then I will no longer be uploading to this channel, but I'm making a new channel. And that channel is going to be called Mobafreak. 
um, it's going to be a channel that is dedicated to only MOBA games, and only the most popular three MOBA games, um, Dota 2, Smite, and League of Legends. Um, so, I'm not exact, I'll let you guys know when I'm about to create this channel, so that if you guys do want to subscribe to that one, instead of this one, that's, I'm alright with that, and I'll let you guys know when we can. What do you need? Here's John Antolius. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Lady Okay, Lady. I don't want to do that. That's not why I'm here. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Lady. I have a message from the Greybeards. Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? They've convening of Heast Council of High Crawford. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Dragons are a bigger problem. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all that didn't reports, work. the Stormcloaks are suffering just as... Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. You'll come to again? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. Okay. For all the good. Alright, thank you. Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. No, he's not. No, he's not attacking Whiterun. You crazy woman. See, that's the thing. At least in my opinion, when it comes to women. If they choose an opinion, they're sticking to that opinion. Even if there's good points on either side, they will vigorously and believe everything else is wrong other than their own opinion. That is why I absolutely, absolutely hate women just like that stupid um, guard that was in there just talking. He's going to attack a right one. This absolutely annoys me. Because there's a lot of women like that in real life. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all known someone like that, that even if they hear the have a, count. a better side that has all the facts and everything, they will continue to um, believe their side only. There's no reasoning with them. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, MOBA Freaks coming out. I'm starting with Dota 2 most, and I'm gonna do Dota 2 mostly. Mostly just because, um, not only is Dota 2 free to play, and I mean 100% free to play, but I, you don't have to unlock any characters with in-game or out-game currency. Dota 2 has every character now and every character in the future unlocked. You can just go in, play him, bot, real match, ranked match, I mean, anything. League of Legends, I can't do as much based on different characters because... You have to unlock them with riot points, or you have to unlock them with IP points, or uh, whatever they call them. So you've done it. Smite, the same thing. Men of violence are gathered here in these halls, whose very stones are dead. All right. Should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves. Oh, Arngir. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. But That's interesting. Are pointless. Take your seat All at right. the council table. I'll take my seat. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of sky. Alright, here we go. 
Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? Alright, does um everyone wanna sit down? Okay then, let's um sit down. Alright, thank you. People have started moving. Sweet. Waiting for Delphine. Why delay? Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Okay. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit of you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Huh. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation. We will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Found more bitch. Either she walks or I. Do. I'm recording. Excuse me one second. Okay, I will. Okay. Maybe so, but for All me, right. there's a deliberate provocation. Talia seems to know I won't be pushed around. I agree. Well said. Ellen one should leave. I hate this Ellen one. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Ah. Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. Oh well. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Yes, please. I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. Yes. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. To arrange a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. General Tullia. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. Yes, you are. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best. To begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, yeah, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. I'll... General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. Uh. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Elfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle.
Adler, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. That's true. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? Huh. This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. How about Riften? Mm -hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. Whatever. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands of Oh my gosh, I hate politics. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headman's axe. And this time, there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons mean? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Yeah. I don't know about the end of the world. But this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that, yes, mess, we both gain. Remember that, Alfred. Yes. Now back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Sores bones. Where will these demands end? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaste. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery. That's glorious. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. Okay. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. Okay. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Edmund will step down. And Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Okay. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaste. Alright. Both agree to this. The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements as long as the Imperials hold to them. Yes. What about you, Alistair? I 
his terms for your life. Speak up. I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Okay. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. All right. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. We did it. Giving up Markarth. All right. Heavy well, that's all I got time for this episode. This um, I ask you to please subscribe because you don't miss awesome in the game. Thanks. Bye.